Hey everybody, it's Ian Davies for Keller Williams Complete Realty and welcome to the Upper Stony Creek Market Report. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Today is the 21st of March and we had a huge week last week. Not only was it the start of the March Madness Basketball Tournament, but it was also a really big week in real estate. But before we get to the new listings, let's have a look at some of the statistics. Okay, everybody, so this is the Upper Stony Creek Market Report. This is some of your statistical analysis for the week. So in the week of March the 14th over March break, we actually finished out the week with 32 properties still for sale in, um, in Upper Stony Creek. That's an increase of about 10 properties from last week. We had 20 detached homes and 12 townhouses or semis listed for sale. Now that's about 35 days of inventory. So still a really strong seller's market, but that number of days of inventory is still slowly starting to increase. This week we listed 21 new properties and sold nine. So what we're beginning to see in Upper Stony Creek is a little bit of the levy beginning to break with regards to listings. If you're a buyer that's been in the market for a little bit and you've been having some frustrations finding what you're looking for, um, this is the time of year when more and more listings begin to come out. So what we're, look, what we're seeing is that number of days of inventory is going to start to go up. It's still a really strong seller's market. You're still going to be seeing competition, but you're going to have a lot more to choose from and a lot more things coming out over the next couple of weeks. Um, we really think that with March break bookended right against Easter, it's kind of kept a lot of homes off the market until those big events are finished. So it uh, look for the next couple, couple of weeks, homes more and more begin to come up um, at a greater, greater pace. Now, one of the things that we are seeing that's uh, been an interesting trend in Upper Stony Creek over the last little bit is the increase in home prices. So, like I told you last week, in detached homes in 2015, the average home sold for about $443,000. The average attached home was three twenty-seven. dollars Now, we've seen some big increases here. So, at the end of February, the average home, detached home in Upper Stony Creek sold for five hundred and two. dollars But in the last week, we've actually changed increased our year to date nearly 13,000 extra dollars for homes detached homes sold in Upper Sunny Creek. That is a really, really strong upward trend in the price of detached homes. And I've been saying this for a long time that there was a closing gap between townhomes and, uh, and detached homes and now we're starting to see that gap widen a little bit. With the uh, with attached homes, we're actually seeing a slight decrease of $11,000 year to date. Uh, we had some less expensive townhomes come on the market in some less expensive areas, and they kind of pulled that average down a little bit. Now let's have a look at the tip of the week. So the tip of the week this week has to do with staging your home. Now the first question that people always have for me is, what is staging? Is it gonna cost me a bunch of money? Am I gonna have to change the floors? And that's not necessarily what staging is, depending on where your price range your home uh, falls into. Really expensive homes, a million, two million dollars. Then you're looking at doing things like painting and all that kind of stuff, potentially renting furniture. But in that, where we are in Upper Stony Creek, if you own a townhome or a detached home, what it really amounts to is showing off the best part, parts of your home, making it look as spacious and as large as possible, and as inviting as possible. And you do that for the most part through colors, removing um, pieces of furniture, uh, different furniture placements, and so on. Um, what most staging is going to involve is removing about two-thirds of your stuff. As people, and I'm as guilty of it as anybody, you move a whole bunch of stuff into your home, you have the kids' stuff, you've got um, furniture that might be too large, and so on, and it makes the rooms feel enclosed. The removal of most of that stuff, put it in storage, you're going to be moving anyway, it makes your home look larger. If you've ever been into a house, uh, into a model home, you'll notice you probably couldn't live there, or wouldn't be enough places to sit, and that's done on purpose. The next thing is why stage. We've tracked this over the past couple of years uh, through the Davies Realty Group and through my own listings. What we can tell you is this, the people that stage their homes get into competition nearly three quarters of the time over the last couple of years compared to the people that did not stage their home did not get any competition around their home their homes and that's just what we've tracked the national association of stagers is who offers the accreditation for stagers would tell you that people that stage their homes get on average four percent more than the average home in the area Staging is incredibly important, and they actually sell in half the amount of time. The important tip about staging is your agent is not a stager. 
I know there's a lot of agents out there that will come in and they'll say, oh, I'll help you stage the home and all that kind of stuff. I provide staging with my with every listing. I am not the stager. I pay for an accredited person to come in and give you these this advice. Um, if a person is doing it themselves, there are people, uh, agents out there, that do have a staging accreditation. And they're probably very good. But for the most part, they're just doing whatever they saw in a YouTube video. Make sure you're using a person that does this for a living. Because if you're going to take someone's advice, they'd better be a professional. Okay, so the first new listing we're going to look at today is 346 Highland Road West, Unit 43. Now this property has been on the market for four days. It's already conditionally sold. It's one of the cheapest townhouses that we've seen listed. This may probably had a lot of competition around it. It would say uh, it's a fairly basic home, laminate countertops, well-maintained, clean, uh, good buy at $330,000. We'll find out about how much it, it, uh, it sold for later on. Uh, but it's a nice house. Fully finished basement. And so on. Now, the next one we have, this property is also um, is also soil conditional. I think this one's a really important one because this is a thousand square foot bungalow uh, in the Gordon Drummond area of Upper Sunny Creek, which is typically um, has never capped that kind of $325,000 mark. And in five days, this property is already sold uh, already sold conditionally. It uh, it's well maintained. It has not been tremendously well updated. Um, you can see the kitchen there. It's a little old, and laminate countertops, old appliances, and so on. And yet at three hundred fifty thousand, this is still a sold conditional property. Our next one is twenty three Periwinkle. Now we're up around that four hundred thousand dollar price point. It's been up for sale now for eight days. Um, it's an interior unit on Periwinkle, backing on to the other townhomes that back off of uh, Blue Mountain, up in up in Summit Park. It is a uh, the split level design, so you go up five stairs to the living room, dining room, uh, kitchen area, and then up another eight stairs to your master level, and so on. Very nice open concept. The big issue with these with this layout has always been that there is no. Uh, powder room on the main floor. There's two full baths upstairs, but no power powder room on the main floor. Now this also has a completely unfinished basement. Um, it does have double sinks in the master in the master bath. It's a good looking home. All right. Next one we have here has 17 Bellflower. So this is actually within. Uh, throwing distance from the previous one on Periwinkle. It's an end unit. This is one of the smaller layouts that, that DeSantis did in the in the townhomes. You walk in, you basically walk right into the back of the kitchen um, and then dining room and living area. There's a powder room on the main floor um, and this does have a fully finished basement, but that basement is going to be small as this is a smaller unit. Nicely decorated, good size room. Master bedroom is only 14 by 12, uh, which isn't uncommon in this area, but uh, there are other layouts with larger rooms. Pot lights in the finished basement, laundry room, all that kind of stuff. Now, 121 Highbury at 389. It's been on the market for one day. It's on a 41 by 114 foot lot. This is a nice house. Um, good little eating kitchen right at the front of the home with a long galley style kitchen, lots of prep space, um, stainless steel appliances, laminate countertops. Living room, it is a one and a half bath. So there's a full bath upstairs, half bath on the main. It has a fully finished basement right there, drop ceiling and so on, one big room. Uh, this is gonna make a really nice house for somebody. I think it's important to note that at 389 right here, that's a lot of money, um, historically speaking, for a house of this size. And I have no doubt that it's probably gonna be sold by this by the time we do the next video. Here's another one, 11 Hannon. Now, this is a freehold townhome in Upper Stony Creek. It's three nine. It's three hundred ninety thousand, fully finished basement. Um, it uh, we don't know if it went in competition or not. My guess is it probably did. It has a, the large kitchen, open concept. It does have a powder room on the main floor, um, and a fully finished basement. This was priced pretty aggressively given what we've seen in the rest of Upper Stony Creek. There's your basement, nicely finished, big one big room, poured concrete patio at the back with the gazebo, and a hot tub. 
uh, a 19 periwinkle. This one just came up. It's been on, on the market for one day. Again, it's the black, the um, kind of that split level design with the five stairs up and the and uh, to the main floor. <clears throat> Stainless steel appliances, open concept. This is a nice house. I was actually in it last night. Um, it's very well maintained. It uh, it shows very nicely. Big open concept uh, basement uh, with the entertainment center. Oh, and a full bath in the basement as well. Now, 1E4 West Bank Trail. This is uh, one of the newest homes um, that's that's on the market currently. I believe this one's only just under a year old. Um, it is in the new Paramount on the Ridge area. And I, I wish I could say the pictures were better. We, we just went over staging, but uh, this has been, this is kind of, that's kind of small. You don't get a real good idea what the layout looks like. Um, oh, these pictures are awful. Uh, but it's $430,000. Now, $430,000 with an unfinished basement is a lot of money, even for a freehold townhome in Upper Stony Creek. So it, uh, I would be wary of that one. 33 Trafalgar, $440,000 interior unit townhome. Now, though this has a fully finished basement, it isn't a 20 by 100. That's a lot of money for a townhouse. Um, 445 is actually the highest townhouse that's ever sold in Upper Stony Creek, and that was just about a month ago. But it had a double car garage and a bunch of other stuff. This is a laminate countertop, um, open concept kitchen. Uh, that's a brand new, those are brand new um, appliances. The stickers are still on them. Now, we, we, when we were talking about staging earlier, if you're, you're going through these pictures, you can really see the difference um, when you look at some of this stuff. Some of the furniture is too large for the room. It's not in the right place. The pictures aren't taken from the right position. It makes the, um, it makes the room look smaller than it should. Like there's, there was a car bed in the hallway right there. Poured concrete patio at the back. Um, it, uh, yeah, at four hundred at four hundred forty thousand, my guess is that's probably going to sit there for a little bit. And now we're in detached homes. This is a bungalow on Lecky. Um, it's four hundred eighty thousand dollars. at seventeen Lecky, uh, which is just um, just south of Salt Fleet High School, and double car garage. It's a nice house, open concept. Um, it's been uh, it's been really decluttered. So, all good looks. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, so full en suite. Um, the whole nine yards. It has an unfinished basement. Now, if you wanted extra living space in a bungalow like this, the finished basement would be fantastic. No deco at the back, but it is on a 36 foot wide lot with an irregular lot. All right, our next one here, 92 Allenbrook. Now, 92 Allenbrook is 489,500. It is in the uh, the Heritage Green section of, of Upper Stony Creek. It's one of the older buildings. Um, it is on a 50 by 105, which is nice. Big kitchen, lots of room. They've opened up these walls here to give it that open concept feel. Been nicely staged, dark hardwood floors. Living room. That looks like a hot tub. Um, I'm gonna have to go in and see it, but that looks like an indoor hot tub in the upper floor of this building. And there's the bar with your home theater and the workshop. Backyard again, on a, on a 50 by 105, you're gonna have a good size backyard. Two 
28 Alden. Now this is actually a cancellation relist. This property was listed before. Um, it, uh, it's a bungalow in Summit Park, two car garage, big 1500 square foot bungalow, cathedral ceilings, a really great home for a person that's looking for an executive downsize. Uh, it's on a 45 by just, just a little under 100 square foot lot. Um, at 550, it's going to be our, our, our at 550. It should sell. Old Mud. So this is uh, on Old Mud Road. It's one of the the um, properties that was built around the 20 year mark in Upper Stony Creek. It is two car garage, big oak staircases, dark trim. So it does give a bit of a dated feel to it, and though it does look like that that kitchen has been updated. And this is at five hundred and fifty thousand. It's a three bedroom, one bedroom in the basement with a fully finished basement, three full baths, and one half bath. It has in a very eclectic style um, in the uh, in the building. Oh, nice backyard. And five hundred for five hundred sixty thousand, you have forty-four Sydney Crescent. Now, not many properties come up on Sydney Crescent. This is one of the first ones in nearly, I believe it's eighteen months, right off Highland Road. It's a great location. Um, it's a two-car garage, four-bedroom, two and a half bath. A very open concept. Crown molding. It's a it's a great house. Good size kitchen, eat in. Five piece, four piece master bath. That's a big deck out the back. Gives you a lot of space to entertain and so on. That's a great one. All right, this is our last one right here. This is actually one of the higher prices that we've ever seen in uh, in Upper Stony Creek. It is one tell one ten. Pardon me, 112 Silver Spring Crescent. It's right on the corner of Crescent of Silver Spring and um, uh, it's right on the corner of Silver Spring Crescent and Pine Hills. It's actually a corner lot with sidewalk on, on two sides. Uh, it doesn't have any pictures as of yet. It has been on the market for five days, and all they have are three exterior pictures. Um, but it is quite a large home. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Okay, now let's have a look at the listing. 